cousin asked Shama. my grandma, she said, Mari. Grandma, what do you think of Katie's new purple hair? And she looked me up and down. She goes, well, it's not all hers. <laughs> I bought it. I have the receipt. And she goes, where'd you get it from? The 99 cent store? Ooh. Did you punch her? Yeah, basically. <laughs> she's in the film and she's pretty hilarious. She is. And the thing is, obviously, for, for you, it's very hard to have a truly private life. <laughs> Well, it, it, well it, you know, it is because, you know, people are interested in the tablet sure. and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, fine line. Yeah, so, I suppose in my head, I was watching the movie thinking, oh, my God, she's nuts. Because you've, you've given us so much. You've given us kind of complete access. Sometimes that's good, though, you know, to give people, to give them it all. Then they're not looking. No, like, yes, that chair in sight, Yeah, I admire her for that. Yeah. And I think she looks so cute without her makeup on. All right, get over it. <laughs> I feel I'm gonna come out full beat every time. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's a fine line, and I I'm a kind of honest person mostly. I like to be as honest as possible for my music and in my life and my professional life, and so I thought it was important to show everybody things so that people can be inspired by it. And uh, obviously, you know, the two of you are, are single. Well, actually, I don't know if you are contractually. Uh, I'm a chat was. I am obliged no. to ask you. So don't pitch it. I'm both single at the moment. My dance card is so full. Okay, okay. I don't know who I'm dancing with, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just people. saying, I'm not going to have sex with <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Now, I did notice, though, in this month's GQ, Cheryl Cole, Me? you talk about being a woman and having the needs of a woman. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, no! See you later! <laughs> Do I? Yeah! Do you people come around in the middle of the night? Do I? And have a go and then leave? Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Cheryl, talking of kind of, uh, I don't know what, falling up in a rift or whatever, have you kissed and made up with Simon Cowell? I wouldn't say kissed. <laughs> Thing you can't kiss. <laughs> so, uh, leave me though. Yeah, because it's not nice of people out there that you don't talk to her. So. Yeah, and I'm not that type of person anyway. It's not. It's not my nature. So, like, if, if you were to walk out of here now, that wouldn't be awkward. No, it wouldn't be awkward. It'd be quite. <laughs> Here, you were on the panel together, weren't you? We were, yeah. Yes. So were you offered any of the X Factor gigs? There's not been actual paper contracts, but people have been interested in me judging other people. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Would you do it? Um, I... I would do it. Right there. I she was right really there. good. <laughs> Jake, you I'm just not ready for it just yet. No. So okay. maybe in the future I'd love she to. She has movies to make and, you know, songs yeah. to release. But I'm busy. But can we just say... I'm <laughs> shows so you have to be very careful at, yeah. with the one that you associate yourself with now, are you not allowed to, by the way are you not allowed to talk about it what it the old no, let's factor debark i'm allowed to talk about anything i want to talk about okay <laughs> you did get your revenge on him in afghanistan didn't you oh did i just <laughs> that was actually what broke the ice when i first spoke to him oh, okay because i went out to afghanistan to, to visit the troops and they had this whole section where they had explosive devices and um, they were blowing them up to see how they work. And when I got there, somebody had dressed one up as Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing, and I got to press the button. <laughs> the detonator. And he just went, boom. <laughs> and then when I came back, I had him, because you weren't allowed to take mobile phone or anything like that out there, it's a security risk. I had messages from Simon saying, well, so now that you've blown us up in Afghanistan, is there any chance we could just have this conversation and that's when I first spoke to him. Oh, what? Then I hired a plane to fly over his house for his 52nd birthday. He's 52, by the way, 53 coming. <laughs> <laughs> he, did a, he did 
didn't want anybody to know it was his birthday. Well, please tell me the plane was a tornado from the lads. And I... <laughs> just, just fly in, he's taking missiles. <laughs> no, he's the did, have a, did have a big thing hanging off the back saying yes. happy birthday. I heard a rumour from his people, I won't name names, that somebody told us he didn't want anyone to know it was his birthday. Perfect opportunity for me to hire a plane. Just <laughs> being nice. I'm just being next to him. Happy birthday, Simon. It's a great day. It's a lovely thing. So it had a banner trail enough saying Simon is 52 today and it flew around his head. <laughs> <laughs>